Now, a bombshell new book has revealed that even the late Queen Elizabeth II was mystified by Harry and Meghan's unhinged attacks on the royal family. Robert Jobson's Owl King exposes the late Queen's bewilderment at the Sussexes' behaviour, which our beloved monarch thought was, quote, quite mad. In the explosive book, sources also reveal that palace discussions about stripping the couples of their titles were held at the highest levels until a loving Charles relented. So what do you think? Very simple question tonight. Was the late Queen right that Harry and Meghan have gone quite mad? Dan at GBNews.uk. Vote in our poll at GB News on Twitter. To help make up your mind, let me bring in the journalist and broadcaster Nina Mishkov and the socialite and royal insider Lady Victoria Harvey. Mm. Uh, Lady V. Yeah. They did go quite mad, didn't they? Um, the well, they, they're, right. they're certainly going madder and madder by the minute, aren't they? So you I think, think the Queen was right? I think the Queen was definitely right, yeah. I, I think she, you know, through her experience um, in her position of, of all that time, I think she had a pretty good feeling of, of what was going to happen. Um, that, is, that is how I feel about her. Yeah, and um, sort of that typically... She was always very calm about everything. Queen, it's almost it? like she just knew everything was going to happen. She was sort of silent about it. But she had a very good idea of, I mean, a lot of experience, you know. Mm. And Absolutely. I think she saw Meghan as a problem from the beginning. Absolutely. Now, Nina, look, uh, you're one of the folk who come on the show and you defend Harry and Meghan. Mm -hmm. So this isn't good for your narrative, is it? Because we really respect and trust what the late Queen had to say and she thought the Sussexes had gone mad. Yes, of course, but this is not gospel that the Queen said it. It's in a book by Robert Jobson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has... Her royal Are you power. doubting his journalistic integrity? I'm not doubting his journalistic integrity at all. I'm not doubting his journalistic integrity at all. But royal correspondents have contacts who feed them information, and mm -hmm. they can feed them whatever information they like. And if they're trusted uh, confidants, then they will be used. Now, mm -hmm. it's, there was, it, this is a, there's a history of this with Meghan. It was dropped to a journalist that, this all sounds so silly because it was a stupid thing, that before the wedding, Kate was made to cry by Meghan. Now, that was treated as gospel, printed and, and thought of, and that was the start of all the, negative, all the negative press and all the negative attitude. Since then, it's generally accepted it was the other way around. Well, no, it's not yeah. generally accepted. No, 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 no. But, but they lied.